And welcome back to the Gone in 60 Seconds Eleanor build after many months delay from uh, Eagle Moss going under and we finally found out that Fan Home is going to supply the parts to us. I finished building the Eleanor at around pack 7. I actually had pack 8, 9, and 10 on hand. So I did receive pack 11 in the mail the other day. So beginning now in the next few days you're going to see pack 8, 9, 10, and 11. That way I'm all caught up with all my parts and I'll just be waiting for Fan Home to send the rest of the parts. So without further delay, let's get started on pack number eight. Man, that was a tough car, huh? Mustangs. They're tough. And welcome back. I'm super excited to continue with the Eleanor build. I left off on pack 7 when I was building this for Eagle Moss. Now it is available from Fan Home. So head over to Fan Home if you like and check this out on their site. Now I'm continuing here with pack number 8, stages 27 through 30. Let's look here real quick at what we're going to be doing here. We're going to continue with the rear axle here. You can see that. And we're going to mount the rear axle to the bottom of the chassis. So we need to get the other part of the axle out of storage along with the rear chassis. And then we're going to continue with uh, Stage 28, working on one of the rear leaf springs and hangers. We'll get that installed. And stage 29, we'll be working on the brake mechanism, the left brake, and installing the shocks onto the leaf spring back there, and the brake mechanism along with the left wheel and rim. No tire yet. We'll put that together and that will be it. So let me uh, get the parts out here and show you what all the parts look like and then we're gonna get started on building all four stages here. These magazines are always fun to go through. A lot of information on all the different cars and such. So. It's, if you'll notice, it still says Eagle Moss on the magazine, and that's because that's what I'm receiving from Fan Home. Stage 27 parts, rear axle, leaf spring 28, brake mechanism 29, and the wheel for 30. Here's a close up of what the pack looks like. Let me take these out, we'll get a closer look. PSO5, PS11 screws, two springs and they are metal, and of course the other half of the rear axle. All right, I brought over the two other parts we needed in storage, the other half of the axle and the front of the axle. Now when we put the front of the axle on here, we're gonna sandwich it in between the two axles here. So I'm just going to put these kind of semi together here a little bit, just like that, and then slide this in, just like that. All right, and it's just going to sandwich that in place. And now you can see how that goes with the T on the bottom. Okay, four PSO5s go into this. And the last one, and you just want to put it in snug, tight and snug. Don't over tighten it because it is going in the plastic. And there we go. That completes that. Now we need to bring over the back end of the car. So they want us to put the springs on here, just like that. And if you wanted, you can go ahead and tape them up. And then this is going to go just like that. And slot in. Just like that.
ES11 goes into it. And the last one. Flange screw, so it's just going to hold it in place. And there we go. That's how that looks. I'll take the tape off. That's all we do for stage 27. Let's head over and do stage 28. And welcome back to stage 28. This time we are going to install one of the leaf springs and spring hangers. Should be pretty easy to do. I've done this before when I built the uh, GT500 from Agora. And that's how that looks there. Let me get the parts. I'll be right back. Here's the parts for stage 28. Let me take it out and we'll get a close look. Here's a close-up of those parts. Here's the leaf spring. It is made of metal. That's very cool there. We have the hanger for the leaf spring. Kind of locks it in place on the axle. We have the two hangers, front and back. We have some pins in here, and they're serrated on one end to lock it in. PSO5 and PSO9. I'll be working on the left side leaf spring. Now we have the two hangers. We have one hanger that's taller than the other and the taller one goes in the back and the shorter one up front so we'll take this hanger and it's pretty much going to match up to the frame on the chassis going to get inserted PSO5 screw goes in on the back side that's, that's good how that looks. Next I'll install the leaf spring and you want to make sure that the hole on here lines up with the axle because if you go the other direction it will not line up. So we're going to simply put that up front and back and we're going to put our pins in. Lock that in. And once it's in we want to lock it in. I have these nice little pliers here and they're called PH 200s. There we go. And we need to put the next one in. And to make this easier, I'm going to take this hanger off and I'm going to line the pin up with the hanger first. Just like that. And we'll press it together. There we go. Like that. Then I will mount that into the hole. And put my screw back in. And there it is. So next time I'm just going to put the hangers on first and then I'll put the spring in. Just have better control that way. The spring perch and that's just going to line up with that tab there. Two PSO9 screws go into this and the next one. good and that's good that's how that looks and that's all we do with stage 28 let's head over and do stage 29 let's go ahead and build stage 29 here's the instructions for that we're going to build the left brake disc and shock absorber And there's our shock absorber itself. That's going to get mounted on the chassis. And then we're going to insert our other half of the shock absorber into that. Screw it all down. 
and then we just assemble the brake disc and that's going to get inserted into the axle I'll get the parts I'll be right back here's parts for stage 29 let's get a closer look here's a close-up of the parts PSO5 PSO8 screws our shock absorber shock perch and our brake caliper and backing plate and a pin. Alright, first thing we're going to do, we're going to put a pin in to hold this in place on the perch. There it goes there. Go ahead and squeeze that together. That's good there. Now we mount this to the chassis. And it's going to go right there on the left side. Just like that. That's good there. And that's how that looks. Next we'll bring over the other half of our shock absorber. We're going to put that into the shock and that's going to line up with the bottom of the spring perch here. PSO9 screw goes into this. It has a flange. That's good there. That's how that looks. There. Now let's work on the brake disc and caliper. Okay, so when we line this up, we're going to go ahead and line this up and we'll put our pins in. Just like that. And then we'll put our axle on. Now the back end. Alright, so. Before we put our backing plate and drum together, we before we put our backing plate and drum together, we can see here that our caliper, brake caliper, is going to lock in to this part right here on the axle on the back side. So we'll line up our backing plate with two screw holes to where it faces aft. And we'll put our brake disc on and this was going to snap in to the back. And it snaps in just like that. And I'm just going to tape that down to hold it in place for now so I don't lose it. That completes stage 29. Let's head over and do stage 30. Go ahead and build the final stage for pack 8, stage 30. And we received the left wheel and rim and center cap. Pretty easy here. We're just going to put the two halves together and put some screws in. I'll be right back with the parts. And here's the parts for stage 30. Here's those parts. We received PSO5 screws, a knockoff center cap, the center part of the wheel, which is made of metal, very nice metallic finish there, and the outer rim. The rim is uh, plastic, but looks very nice there. So, first thing we do is we put the center wheel into the rim, and it's going to go just lay down right on top, just like that. We'll put three PSO5 screws into this. And the last one. Perfect. That's how that looks. 
Okay. And there you have it. That completes pack eight of the Gone in 60 Seconds Eleanor Mustang. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. This is only available through Fan Home. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.